Hi everyone and welcome to Color Me Quaint, my channel where I draw and I illustrate and I share my thoughts with like-minded folks. Um, today I'm doing this little illustration um, featuring one of my favorite hobbies, sewing um, and drawing some utensils and things that you use or that you have around while you're sewing. And while I do this, I will talk to you about a thing that I've been dealing with for a while and that I'm trying to combat, which is never feeling good enough. So I noticed that this is a more of a feminine problem, like more of a um, problem for people who define themselves as female. For some reason, um, we never seem to be happy with ourselves and we never seem to be really proud of what we've accomplished. And for me, this has been an ongoing thing for a long, long time. And maybe it's influenced by how you were raised or certain um, experiences that you've had in your life. But for me, it's no matter what my achievements were and no matter what I did, and even when I did something well, um, I would never, and I still never um, have the ability to be completely happy with it. I always see the faults. And I know that a lot of um, artists share the same, I don't even know if I want to call it problem because on one hand it's important to um, be realistic, I guess, about your level and it also helps you push forward and improve. But I've been so focused on the improving and I always felt like I needed to learn more and I still do and that's okay. Um, I love to learn. But sometimes maybe you just have to use what you have and not constantly think about what you cannot do yet. But what you can do, because every now and then it's important to have a finished piece that you're happy with, that you like for that level that you're at. And sometimes that's even better than working for months and months on end on an unfinished piece that maybe you will never finish because you just don't feel you're there yet or you're not good enough yet. So I guess in this video I'm trying to encourage you to um, stop being so complicated in your head. I'm talking to myself here so don't don't feel um, offended. <laughs> um, don't always see your inabilities but try to see your abilities and try to keep it simple. Do something simple it's totally fine and if you have a nice result you can enjoy that without making a complete masterpiece. What I'm working on today is something that if I had this criticized by an art critic or maybe even a professor um, applying to an art school or something like that, they would find a million things wrong with it. And I know myself that there are a million things to improve in my art. And I will try to share those things with you just to prove that even though I can find all those mistakes, I'm still making something that is visually appealing and that people will relate to and hopefully like. And I can like, despite all of those issues that it has. So what I am not doing, um, I'll just call it, uh, I, I won't say I'm not doing it right, but maybe I'm not doing it um, perfectly in an academic sense is well, first of all, I didn't really use reference for my sketches. I sketched for my imagination. And um, maybe in some places I did use a little bit. I did look at a couple of photos, but I wasn't that obsessed about things being realistic. 
um, things uh, like showing shadow, being uh, perspectively correct, and those kind of things. Then I, and this you will see this later, I will be outlining all of my sketches. You will see the outlines and even now I did, I or I had done the outlines of my drawings not in very light pencil but in brown colored pencil so that they will show through and many art teachers will tell you that in order to improve it would be better not to show your outlines because that's what kids do, right? I used an eraser while I sketched, which also many times they tell you not to do. Um, I did not stretch my watercolor paper, I used it as is. Of course that depends on how much water you're going to use and since I'm not covering the entire uh, piece of paper I can still handle the paper, but you get the idea. <laughs> I am actually controlling the watercolor too much here. People will tell you that when you use watercolor, you should let it be free and it do its own thing. And yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm staying within the lines. Um, I'm mixing with other media. I'm using watercolor with um, colored pencil, which also will be frowned upon by some people. I'm not creating a real background. I'm not creating... Um, a realistic setting for this but my items are floating in space. I don't really have an artistic composition here, um, no rule of thirds. I just placed things on my square of paper um, just following my gut feeling and thinking okay this looks nice and that was about it. I am using black with my watercolor which is not recommended. You should um, or maybe you, I don't want to say you should, but many people will advise you to use complementary colors to uh, darken a color instead of mixing it with black. I am being very cute and saccharine in my illustrations. I am not making anything serious. I am not um, like addressing politics or important issues in the world. It's about sewing. It's cute. And yeah, that's for children, I guess. I am drawing very small um, and for my wrist, I'm not using my elbow. I am drawing very tightly. I'm not being loose the way you are told to do, especially when you do live sketching, things like that. You're supposed to be very loose and even in finished um, drawings, um, you're supposed to give your work dynamic by not being as tight as I am right now. Um, I'm not giving things shadows. I am not thinking about a light source. I am being very flat in my coloring. I'm not glazing the watercolor as in using several um, layers, which is not necessary, but many people will do that, especially if they're professional. Um, I'm not doing anything that's hard to understand or sophisticated. Could be boring, it could be old fashioned. There is no shock value in my subject matter. Um, I don't actually have all the drawing basics down beforehand. I am drawing at the level that I'm at before mastering the art and mastering watercolor. Um, I'm not really sketching quickly. Um, I, my calligraphy or hand lettering is not where it should be at all, it's just my regular handwriting. I am not really using super expensive colors, like I don't have Daniel Smith water colors. I still think that mine are good and they're pretty light fast, but it's not um, a brand that you hear of all the time. I'm actually using synthetic brushes because I'm vegan and I don't want to use animal bristles. I am holding my brush like a pencil, which, um, yeah supports that whole tightness, I guess, of drawing. I'm not being painterly in my brush strokes and I'm deviating from my style and even from my subject matter and the things that I've been doing lately. I'm doing something completely different. And those were, I don't know, the, those must have been maybe 20 things wrong <laughs> with this work and still it's okay, it's fine.
You are enough. The level that you're at is enough to create something beautiful. And yes, you can uh, try to improve and try to get better and keep an open mind about what you can and cannot do. Don't be pretentious. Don't be, oh, I'm the king of the world and nobody can teach me anything. Be humble, but also just appreciate where you're at right now and make the best of it. So with those words, I will leave you with the rest of this video to enjoy in silence. And I really hope that this motivates you to just grab your art supplies and make something. Just make something that you feel like making. Make something that you enjoy. And don't think about the critics. Don't think about what somebody else will say about your piece. Um, don't think about the things that are lacking. But think about the fact that this is actually nice and looking at this will provoke positive feelings in other people and it will speak to, in my case, um, other seamstresses who enjoy this and who can relate and maybe have a cat and have a fondness for old sewing machines or whatever your subject matter is. Try and focus on those things on the positive and I'm sure it will turn out lovely. Again, I will say thank you, thank you, thank you if you've watched the video until now. Um, for a teeny tiny YouTuber, it means a lot. I really appreciate it and I hope that this has been of some value to you. I hope you have a pleasant day and a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye!